Hi everyone, I have finished a great big granny square to make a cardigan for uh, my son's girlfriend. So this is the Karen Latte Cake called Blackberry. It's just beautiful. So I wanted to show you how to do the folding up and where to do the sewing to make the, uh, the square into your cocoon cardigan. So with right sides up, and depending on the stitch you're using or the colours you're using, there might not be really a wrong or right side. Um, and if you wanted to knit this, it's the same as when I did my cow tutorial. It doesn't have to be crocheted. You can knit a big square and it's just how you fold it. So this in total is about 35 or 36 inches. This is actually 36 inches, but there's a bit of give and take here, which is 91 and a half centimetres. Now Alice wants hers from the back of her neck down to the back of her knees. So that's 100 centimetres. So I've stopped just a little bit before then because there's going to be a border around it and a little bit of a border around the sleeves. I've got this much left of a second latte cake, but it can disappear quite fast, so I'm hoping that will be enough to do the borders. So, um, but anyway, so once you've got it all laid out, bring the right sides together, and depending on what yarn you've used, it's a bit hard. This one's very silky, so it's very... Um, mobile but right where your starting circle is I followed the line of my stitching my row right across to make sure I had it exact now most armholes are about seven or eight inches down so I've done seven inches down from this closed side here's your open side here but to make sure I've got it right, I've actually gone and counted my rows up from the bottom, if that makes sense, because that's easier for me than measuring. So I know this is exactly perfect, and I've put a stitch marker exactly on each side to match up. And then what I'll do is I'll take one out and go right through where the other one is, and I can take out the second one. So now that's joined up there together. And I'll just put it down here on the corner, ready to sew. And I did the same the other side. I actually counted up from the bottom to measure exactly the same as here. And so I'll do exactly the same. I'll put my stitch markers right through in exactly the same spot. Take out the second one, put it at the beginning ready for sewing. So now I know it's absolutely perfect because I've counted up from the bottom. So when you sew, you sew from the bottom, the opening piece here, just up to where the armpit is. So you just sew both sides up to the armpit. And that's what you do next. And then I will show you. What do you do once I've done that? Right, so I have now got it turned around the right way so you can't see my stitching down the side. Just stitch it however you like. Some people actually crochet sides together. Some people just use a needle and the yarn. I just use a needle and the yarn. So now both sides are sewn up and the armholes are here. So all you do is pick up the middle and push it up like that and these sides come here and when you put it on you put your hand one arm through there one arm through there and that's your cardigan when you do the borders and you don't have to have a border um, yes I've still got ends sticking out don't worry you don't have to have a border but most tutorials say to start here and go around 
and do your border and you can go around two or three or four or five rounds it doesn't really matter it's up to you but I'm going to actually start at the bottom this time I think on the cardigan I did for myself it sort of showed a bit here so I saw another tutorial with a different cardigan and they just started at the bottom and went around so I will try that but at the moment there's no real bottom and top is there and then I'm going to pick up and I will go around the sleeves a few times and then it'll be finished so you can actually put a completely different colour on for your borders. You can use the same yarn um, or you can have no border at all. And so, yeah, so that's all it is. It's down like this. You pick up the middle <laughs> and there's your cardigan. It's perfect. So I picked up the cardigan and I put my arm through each hole and remember this is not for me even though it nearly fits this is for a, um, a 19 year old she's a bit shorter than me so on her it will come longer but I've still got to add the border which will take it down to her knees so there she goes she wanted it nice and big for her, but it still looks nice on me. What do you think? Shall I keep it? <laughs> All right. Let me know if you have a go. And I will do a, um, a video when it's all finished. Bye.